Welcome to Deep River Farm. Well, the water level has started receding. It's been up here though. Look at it. Look where it's pushed all these leaves and stuff up here. It was all the way up to the back of this log here and a little beyond. I mean to tell you, it has been up. The highest I've seen it. And it's come down a little bit. At least these trees here are uh, getting back to where uh, they're not soaked uh, around the trunk of the tree here. But the lake level is still way up. It's got a ways to go. I can hear it going over the top of the dam still, rushing. It's really going. But uh, maybe by Monday, it'll be back down to its normal height. And uh, we'll get in here and clean up all this trash. Aggravating having to do this all the time. When we get big rains, it, stuff comes down the river and piles up and we get the uh, the effect of all the trash. But uh, we got nine inches of rain. That's what we wound up with, folks. Nine inches here at Deep River Farm. And we, uh, <clears throat> we glad to see Hurricane Debbie out of here. We are glad that thing is gone. It hadn't been done nothing but rain since last Thursday. And uh, it finally moved out yesterday, and uh, we're glad it's gone. Got a little do a, a little debris to clean up here. We got a tree down. We this is where we're trying to expand our chicken lot, and we got to get this tree top out. It has fallen, but it wasn't during this hurricane. It broke out and. Uh, We just, we got something we got to do here. Anyway, <clears throat> I appreciate you joining us this morning as we was looking at the lake level. I got to get, I got to get busy on uh, expand, extending our chicken lot and making a big run for the chickens. That's what we got these fence panels out here for. They make an excellent uh, secure area for your chickens. They high enough that uh, you know they're not going to fly over it or anything, and sturdy enough. And putting T post in between the, the ends here and uh, tie to them help stabilize them. They high enough the chickens won't fly over them. The only thing you got to worry with is uh, hawks and eagles and things like that. So. Uh, we're going to try to get these all put together now that the rain's over with. We're heading into fall, and that's going to be our fall project. We've been collecting these. Anytime we can find them for free, we get them. Too expensive to buy, so we try to repurpose them. People, people get dogs and things, and we see them in the backyard just grew up and briars all around these things, and so we, uh, we'll check and see if they want to get rid of them. Sometimes they'll, they want to sell them and sometimes they'll just, just, we'll just give them to you if you'll clean that lot up. Well, that don't take but a little bit. Get it tore down, get the weeds out of it, get it moved and go in there with a weed eater and go to town. So, uh, that's what we do. We don't, uh, we don't get rid of much. See, we, we tore down an old building up here and we've saved all of the lumber for it from it and we're gonna we're gonna use this stuff's too expensive today not to be repurposing things if it's good shape might as well reuse it no point in throwing it away or burning it so that's the that's the goal i appreciate you joining us this morning we're going to feed our quail and uh feed our chickens and uh get them taken care of this morning Y'all have a blessed day.